Elon Musk is the Midas of our time. Everything he touches invariably turns to gold in the blink of an eye. Before he got into the game, other companies had been in the business of solar roof shingles. But when he stepped in, he upped the game and everyone else had to struggle to keep up with him. If you're wondering what solar roof shingles are and why everyone is so hyped up about them, or you're trying to decide between the solar shingles and traditional solar panels, then you're in the right place. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at Tesla's solar shingles and why you should or shouldn't get them. So, let's get to the business. How do solar shingles work? Solar shingles are an innovative creation by Tesla. They're small solar panels that are designed to look like your regular roof shingles. They replace the regular roof shingles in your home and are permanently attached to your roof. With these shingles, you don't have to deal with the eyesore that is the traditional solar panel installation. These shingles blend so perfectly in your roof that it's often hard to tell. These shingles work in the same way as regular solar panels by using a photovoltaic system to generate solar energy. Put in layman's terms, they convert radiation from the sun into usable energy through an inverter. What's new with Tesla solar shingles in 2021? Tesla partnered with Mississippi Power to create the world's first smart neighborhood, which is located in Lauderdale County. The neighborhood is expected to have 150 homes that will be fully outfitted with solar glass roofs and Tesla power walls, and construction was slated to begin in early 2021. Tesla Solar Shingles Specs A Tesla solar roof contains active and inactive shingles. The roof shingles are made from tempered glass tiles, which were designed to look like normal slate roofs. The active shingles contain solar cells that generate solar power for your home. The inactive shingles are just filler shingles that protect your home and give a uniform look. Each shingle measures 15 by 45 inches and comes with a 25-year warranty. They have a Class 3 hail rating, with the capability to withstand hails of up to 1.75 inches in diameter. A Class F wind rating, with the ability to withstand wind speeds up to 166 miles per hour. The solar roof has a Class A fire rating, which is the highest possible. Pros and Cons of Solar Shingles Solar shingles are awesome, no doubt, but should you get one? You might want to weigh the pros and cons. We'll share some of those with you now. There are a lot of pros that come with having solar shingles. Apart from the shingles being a source of renewable energy, that is exactly what the environment needs, they also look good and blend right into your roof, so you don't have awkward panels poking out of your roof. Furthermore, the shingles come with an amazing 30-year warranty, which is way beyond what is typically offered in the industry. The shingles receive the highest possible hail, wind, and fire resistance ratings that are possible, so they are super durable. You don't have to worry about them being destroyed in a storm five minutes after installation. Also, having solar shingles dramatically improves the resale value of your home, so your home is guaranteed to be worth more with the solar shingles than it would be without. This doesn't mean that the solar roof is without its setbacks, however. The most important disadvantage to keep in mind is that it doesn't come cheap. It costs about four times as much as you'd expect to pay for a regular DIY installation. But then everybody knows that Tesla products don't exactly come cheap. Also, even after you scale the hurdle of the high costs, there's still the issue of the wait list. Because Tesla products are always in such high demand, you can expect to wait for about a year before getting a solar roof installed. That's a long time to spend on the wait list. Do you think the pros outweigh the cons? Let us know in the comments below. Tesla Solar Roof Cost versus Other Solar Panels While the costs of the solar shingles have decreased significantly by about 50% since the first installations in 2011, they're still quite expensive. After all, this is Tesla we're talking about. The prices are always going to be steep, but you'll always know you're getting quality products and good quality for your money. Even with the drop in the price of the shingles, they still aren't readily available, so even after shelling out big bucks, 
you still have to be patient. According to Tesla, a roof of Tesla solar shingles will cost $21.5 per square foot. So if your home had a roof of 1,500 square feet, then you'd be shelling out a total of $32,250 to cover your roof and shingles. Keep in mind that this amount doesn't cover labor and installation costs. So you should expect to pay more than that for the total package. Before you get discouraged, however, you can reduce the total costs of installation with rebates and federal tax incentives. Keep in mind that even with these rebates and incentives, you're still going to pay more for the solar shingles than you would with the traditional solar panels. But the shingles are more durable than the panels and come with almost three times the warranty that comes with the solar panels. So at the end of the day, you know that you're making an investment. On the other hand, a solar energy system that is made up of regular solar panels is cheaper. You can expect to pay about $400 for each solar panel. When you include labor costs and costs of installation, you can expect to pay between $10,000 and $30,000. While this is a very large range, you should keep in mind that the total costs depend on the size of your roof and the wattage size of the panels. Like with the Tesla solar shingles, you can get rebates and tax incentives to reduce the final costs of the solar panels. So at the end of the day, the detriment is usually the costs. How much money you have to spend will help you decide between the solar shingles and the regular solar panels. If you have enough money to spend and you're concerned with aesthetics, then you should go for the solar shingles. However, if you're on a tighter budget and don't really care about the aesthetics, then you could go for the cheaper solar panels. Is the Tesla solar roof worth it? While Tesla solar panels are more expensive to install, they are cheaper per watt than the traditional solar panel. Getting the Tesla solar shingles means that you have to replace your roof entirely, and that is quite expensive. However, if you are already planning to do some renovation and change your roof anyway, then getting the solar shingles installed is definitely worth it because you get two things for a cheaper price. The total costs would amount to roughly the price of getting a new roof and regular solar panels. So you might as well go for the solar shingles. Otherwise, you may find the cost of the shingles to be quite steep. And there you have it, a breakdown of Tesla's solar shingles. What do you think about them? Do you think they're worth the money? Do you think they're better than the regular solar panels? Drop your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and smash that notification bell so you can keep up with our latest updates on Tesla. See you next time.